Hello and welcome to the first edition of my FIFA 22 World Club Trophy in which all 700 clubs on the FIFA 22 platform have a chance to win the coveted tournament of being the World Club Champion. The 700 clubs are split into 48 nations and this includes Wales and Canada for example because they can be split from their respective leagues but other than that they are in their respective national leagues. The nations themselves have been split into groups of four to compete for the final tournament. To give you an idea of what we're talking about, here are the groups. So as you can see, uh, we have Group 1 with Colombia, Hungary, Spain and Mexico. Group 2 of the Dutch, Czechs, Ecuador and South Korea. In Group 3 it's Switzerland, France, Saudi Arabia and Uruguay. And in Group 4 it is Russia, Japan, Finland and Brazil. And as you can see from these four groups we've already got two clubs within those four groups and Farenc Varos being for Hungary and Helsinki for Finland and that is because they are the sole representative of that nation on the FIFA 22 platform. Group 5 is Peru, South Africa, Cyprus and Portugal and as you can see the Cypriot representative is already there and that's Apoel of Nicosia. Group 6 we have Paraguay, Norway, China and Scotland. In Group 7 it's Canada, India, Austria and Wales and then Group 8 is Belgium, Bolivia, Turkey and Australia. Uh, group 9 it sees Venezuela, Romania, Poland and the UAE and they are Al Ain, and that is again the sole representative of that nation. Uh, group 10 is Argentina, Sweden, USA, Denmark. Group 11, Greece, England, Chile, and Ukraine. And in Group 12, Germany, Italy, Croatia, and the Republic of Ireland. Now, you've got to remember it's not the nation that is in that group, it's going to be a representative, a club representative, that will be in that group competing for the final tournament, which will be a tournament of 24 clubs to denote who will be the world club champion of FIFA 22. Right, so when we talk about leagues, we are talking about the national leagues of all those nations in the groups that we've just seen. So the next clubs have only got two teams representing their nation, and we will see the first legs of those national league finals coming up in uh, this program. And they are uh, Shakhtar Donetsk against Dynamo Kiev in the Ukrainian final there. And before that, we will be seeing the Kaiser Chiefs playing Orlando Pirates in the, their first leg. But before all that, we'll be looking at the first leg of the Croatian final and that is Hajduk Split versus Dinamo Zagreb. Right then, hope that's all made sense to you. So let's crack on with that first leg of the Croatian final between Hajduk Split and Dinamo Zagreb. And I will be seeing you through all the action. Here it is then, the opening game of the FIFA 22 World Club Trophy. It's Hajduk Split against Dinamo Zagreb. Zagreb kickoff in the blue. And they are already trying to make headway through the high jump midfield. It was pretty tight actually. Oh, there was a runner then on the left and it wasn't seen. And here comes Split now coming out from the fence. That's a good ball down the right. And that's intercepted by Andrić Vojnovic. There again, it's very narrow here. Not a lot of room. Good tackle there going in. Mm. 
Ooh, Dicey defending. And the final shot was a bit poor in the end. And a little bit more cautious as Zagre had come out here. Petrovic. And again, seems to be the playmaker. And that's offside. Throw to split. A uh, bit of movement down here on the right again, and uh, nice ball in. He's oh, he's got round his first man. They've got a shot away there, and it's a really good save by the keeper. It's a corner to split. Runner comes across, gets it short. Caught them napping a bit there, and oh my word! I think that was a save. Well, it is, and again, that's another cracking save, point blank. And the front ball didn't quite reach its target there for Zagreb. Here come split again. And that's a good ball, and it's another good save. And the goalkeeper can't believe the amount of space the allowing split through here. He's done well, no he hasn't. He's uh, fouled his man there. It's a free kick to split in a really good position here. That's easily blocked. But they haven't got it away. That's a good tackle and they might just break here. It's Petrovic. A little ball through, he can't, oh he's got it, he's got it. Might try and play Petrovic through, but no. Elez was there. Good checking back throw by the uh, Zagreb midfielder. That's a good ball, no it isn't. <laughs> Ivanovic, you know, Ivanosevic or something like that, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know the players at all, to be fair. So it's going to be a bit um, hit and miss with that sort of commentary. Good tackle, and that's nothing but a throw. Seems to be evenly matched at the moment. Uh, that's another good save, the keeper nearly palmed it into his own net. Corner to split again. It's headed up in the air, it's seen away, here it comes off. Good uh, tackle back again to keep it going for split. And that, oh, that could be a penalty. It is. Split have a penalty. Adami is a judge to have took him out. Well, it's a bit soft for me. And a real chance for split here. Oh, he's hit the bar with it. Goalkeeper couldn't react at all quick enough. Ooh. Gotta watch the offside here, because they keep catching me again. A little bit uh, unsure of what to do there. That's play on, says referee. Keep the ball well here, split. Another good tackle. Ivan Savic, that's a good ball. It's Rostovsky. Good cross. Oh, 
Well, out of nothing, Zagreb take the lead here. It's Petrovic who has been the playmaker and now the goal scorer of the opening goal of this tournament. It's a great run down the right by Rostovsky and then it's a really good ball in as well and he's met it absolutely plumb on. In fact it could be an own goal, his foot was very high on Petrovic's head but it may well go down as a Petrovic, Petkovic goal, not Petrovic after all, it's Petkovic. <laughs> Sorry about that, but that's it, it's Petkovic. It just shows you how much we watch Croatian football. In fact, uh, a yellow card has been shown there to Orsic, I think it's Orsic. Now, has that uh, really ruined it here for Split? Great save again, this time from the Zagreb, sorry, the split keeper. Good challenge, nicely waited for it, didn't he? Just timed it right. And Damien. Ooh. I'm going to say he's got to be careful, he's on the yellow card. Yeah, that's a bit uh, wayward. Oh, he might put him in here. It's Petkovic again. He's hit the post. Oh. Well, that would have really put it a really good uh, gloss on the performance for Zagreb there. But it's ended 1 0 here at half time. Now that's the tail of the tape if you're interested. So off they go again then. Zagreb one up then. And uh, straight in there. Well, it's too narrow again from Zagreb. There's no real out and out winger there. Can't quite reach him there with that tackle. And he waited for the the play to develop there and he tried to take it on but again Zagreb had it. He's getting a bit of a booting because of the other card, I think. Unless they're getting a the viewing anyway, because they are the away side. Oh, and he's. Oh, and that was a bit of a disappointment in the end. It was nice jinking run, but he couldn't finish it. Roskowski. Oh, I think he's. Um, he's either Montenegrin or Macedonian, isn't he? By right. I'm sure he is. That's a good tackle. And Damey, he's got to be careful. He's already given away the penalty that was missed by Split in the first half. Oh, and they might get away here, but the keeper should get that. Misic. Damey. Misic again, Rostovsky, Petkovic, <laughs> shan't make that mistake again. Now there's a chance of a cross here, oh nobody there, nobody ran in like um, Petkovic in the first half. Allowed to carry it, Misic. Head through, shot blocked, and it's seen away. And it 
that's going to be a split throw and we have a substitution here and Enderok is off I think I actually catch the um, sub of Sarty that's right Sarty is on sounds a bit Finnish chance here that's a good save again he's made he's uh, been the busier of the two keepers it has to be said oh dear not really sure what was happening there and that's a block decisive one at that looking for offsides and all sorts there oh and he's got in the way of that pretty well no couldn't get it oh and he, a real chance here but it's another good save I just hope it doesn't finish <laughs> with them winning it outright, you know what I mean? And I hope there is a second leg to play because that's how it's been set up, hopefully, to play a two leg final. <laughs> it just, just my luck that it's not been set up properly. That's a good try. Oh, it's too high. Well, it looks like Zagreb will go into the second leg with a 1-0 lead here. Unless Split can do something special in these closing moments. Oh, we might get through. Oh, and it's another great save. He can't believe it. I don't think the, uh, the rest of the Split side can either. It's not a bad ball in, it's, and it's an am ball in there, I think. Now, are they settling for this 1-0? It's a nice ball through. Playing it through the midfield nicely there. Oh no, couldn't get through that one though. Now here we go again for split. Can they produce one last chance here? And the answer is no. In fact, it uh, no, he's just going to get a, a chance there. He has been a little bit. Um, I don't think all bitch needs to come off. Oh, there was another change for split there. Diamantikos has come on. <laughs> he must be Greek. With a name like that. I can't pronounce it. Oops, that's it. Petkovic. Might have come on for the uh, player who was getting a bit um, frustrated, a little bit impetulant. I didn't see who come off for him. There he is, the sub. And the shot goes in again, and again he's uh, produced another great save. That's not worth doing either. Not this late in the game. Let's see if they can see this out now, Zagra. There's a header, it's there. It's the equaliser, it's the substitute. It's that Greek sub. Would you believe it? <laughs> right at the death, split gets back in the game from the corner. And he's met it. Oh, he's virtually a free header there, straight down the middle. 
watched it all the way and leapt up well, got a full forehead on it and it's buried. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, let's hope it doesn't go into extra time it's, because it's not supposed to go into extra time. <laughs> So it will be all to play for in the second leg, it seems. And there it is. I'm not sure why the crowd's that vibrant. <laughs> because it's a one-all draw here. In this first leg of the Croatian final. A little bit of afters going on here. And Diaman Takos and got the equaliser that gives it a really interesting edge for the second leg. Our second match is the first leg of the South African final between Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates. There's the lineups for both sides if you are interested there. So here we are, it's the South African final, first leg between Kaza Chiefs and Orlando Pirates. It's quite an interesting one all around here. We're in the King Abdullah Sports City Stadium for this one. And off we go then, it's the Pirates kicking off in their nice sort of blue strip, bluey, well virtually silver strip. And um, we'll see how this one goes. There's uh, I think it's a free kick is it? No, well, yes it is a free kick for the Chiefs. A hell of a ball that is down the left wing. And, oh yeah, over a kick. <laughs> There's a clearing kick there. That's virtually a typically African sort of defending. They really do get all flamboyant in their play sometimes. He's not too sure about that movement. Is Bacchus. So, and see, uh, South, Af uh, South America, isn't he? That's a good play. Now, what can you do here? Oh, blocked. There was a lot of dis defence there to block that out. Well, that's a good ball through there. There's two runners. But he's got on the end of it nicely, he got in front of the play to take it from the forward. There's a bit more patient build up with uh, the Chiefs here. He's gone for a long range one there but it's not come off, just a, a sighter possibly. Again, taking their time here. That's nicely done. It's Parker. Oh, he's had a crap there. Good header. Again, that's blocked away. Good defending at the moment from the Pirates. Can't quite reach it with that. Keeping a good strong line at the back here, the Chiefs. That's a decent ball in, and the keeper is there. Nicely on. 
Ooh. And he might get it. He's got it. No, he's got three in front of him, though, as defender. That's a good ball through. Oh, he's blocked it. Oh, he couldn't get on the other end of it. Oh, dear. Complete um, mess, really. And he may have taken that too far as well. And he did indeed. But they've won it back again. Good ball through the middle. It is Parker who gets away. And oh, that's a good save. Corner comes in. And uh, the keeper's done well to claim that. It's a big ball out. Good header down. But only to a pirate. <laughs> Sounds quite good, doesn't it? <laughs> Again, getting in front of the play, taking it off him, and then taking it too far. Asking for it back here. Decent try, the keeper's there. It's an awkward one to take, it seemed, by the keeper. Trying to go inside. I oh, skip through. Oh dear. And in fact, it came too far back in the end. That's not a very good defensive play, though. Oh, there. Yeah. And they've let him just come out with it in the end. That's a decent ball through. When he skips over one challenge, he's got through another. Oh, and there's a. A free kick all the same, surely I think the keeper, this save is made, but there's a card coming out here for Cardo, so Lorch wanted more. There it is. <laughs> but it's a, only a corner. There's no free kick. And They've got away with it in a way, because here comes a big break on, there's nobody with him. He's taking it out all the way here. Now he's looking round. That's a good ball through. There goes the shot, so that's a good save. In comes the corner. It's headed in. It's a nice finish. And it's uh, Matoto, I think, something like that. <laughs> I don't know these players either, of course. They uh, probably do play in South Africa mostly. And it comes the corner, and he's gone in front of his man to have a clear header. And it's gone into the corner of the net, out of the reach of the keeper. He can't do anything with that. And it is Matoho. He's very happy with it. <laughs> and it's just before the break as well, which gives the Chiefs a really good solid platform to work on for the second half. Getting in his way there a little bit. Here's Parker. He may well have, should have. Ooh. Might get there first again. Oh, he couldn't quite get it across. Fight in. He can't get there. Oh, my word, what a mess. What an absolute uh, <laughs> last ditch defending and all sorts going on there. Now, that's well in. Right at the end of the half. And it is a 1-0 lead here for the Chiefs. Matoho with the goal. So it's looking good for them at the moment. And there's the tail of the tape if you're interested.
and it's the Chiefs who kick off here in the second half nicely works but there's no Ronnie really in the box or anything that's a good ball though Oh, he should have shot maybe. Oh. He certainly did. It's Parker again. And he couldn't uh, direct it into the top corner. <clears throat> That's good uh, play in the midfield there from the Pirates. He's done well there. Evading one, evading two, and the keeper has to make a good save with his near post. Corner to the Pirates. Oh, it's a deep one. And it's going to be seen away, is it? No, hang on a minute, it's a penalty. There must be a, an arm ball in there or something. It's Bacchus. I'm sure he used to play for...
So our third offering today is the first leg of the Ukrainian final between Dynamo Kiev and Shakhtar Donetsk. They're the lineups for today's game. So here it is, it's the first leg of the Ukrainian final. It's Dynamo Kiev against Shakhtar Donetsk. And it's uh, obviously a very uh, poignant sort of final, isn't it? Because obviously uh, what was going on in real life is far from this sort of thing. But let's hope we have a decent game to see here anyway, as shots are actually kick off. And their familiar orange, it's Tete on the ball, trying to run through the... Oh! He's got through, and he's got the shot away, and it's a clear over the top. My word, what a start that would have been. Kiev completely asleep. That's a great tackle going in there. No messing about there. Nicely done, really good weight on the wall there. Plays it, oh, he, nobody there. You're hoping to see a little tap in there. It's a good ball out there. It's, uh, oh no, it's a f too far out for the shot, surely. Keeper did well to get behind it. To work from the back again, Kiev. For that shaky start. And they're suddenly becoming a little bit more aware of things here. Well, that's a little bit long, but he got him on the end of the there, but it was too much in the end, and Ismaili comes out with it. Off they go down the right again. Inside, nice turn around, plays him through the middle here, and he's gone away. That's a great shot, and I don't know whether the keeper got a little touch on it, he seems to think he did. <laughs> it's a corner ball, and it comes, and it's headed clear. And that's a very good save, Piat off the... Ukrainian national keeper really isn't he, um, I'm not sure about the Kiev one, whether he is also in that squad. Uh, it's, it's far too far in the end. Oh, well again it's mainly that's the, the second meaty challenge by him. And that's gone out for the throw. And this mate he wants to get on with it, but he's three all the way back to the halfway line. <laughs> oh, that's nicely rode. That's a good tackle, though. He might get his own back after that. Oh, no, he's been robbed in there. A bit risky there from Kiev, trying to work it out from the back. Oh, he's lost it now. And the shot is very well saved. He, it seemed a very powerful shot there, but it uh, was uh, virtually caught by the keeper. It's nicely played through. Oh no, he never ran. And the, it's Ramirez as well, uh, who uh, will get forward, Mikhelenko. De Pena, oh dear, that's a free kick. Now he might get a card for that, he went straight through and Dodo <laughs> is bought. Funny name for him. 
and that's all it is it's just a, a free kick it's a really good delivery and the header is over the top there didn't quite rise enough to get over the top of the ball there's that Ismaili again oh and he gets a little trip on him and he, his play on says referee is Tete who had that very early chance and that's offside Solomon's offside It's all very tall, he might be able to run down here, down the right, freely. Plays it across, oh, there's the shot. Oh, and it still might get in here, and he has, he's got it through. Somehow, manages to get on the end of it. And Kiev lead. I do look like that like strip. <laughs> it's up in the air. It's sort of headed down and then it's bounced over uh, the defender there kindly for the forward who sticks it in and it's uh, Shaparenko now that we see his name and he's very happy with that and it's 1-0 Kiev as we come towards the close of this first half not quite there yet though. Solomon on the ball for Donetsk. Ismaili seems to be the playmaker, although he's, he's in a left fullback position. Here's Tete. Tantalising run from Tete. Yet again. And that's nicely done. Oh, he's going to run all the way here. And he did. Oh, insane. Really good play to get through there, but it's a corner to Kiev, and he can't quite get there to make the connection. My con, there's one or two Brazilians, of course, that have played for Donetsk over a few years, and here's Morales, and he's gone all the way, it's over the top. but he plays on and look at the room here that Donetsk are letting him again run down this and oh he's hit the post on the far side De Pena oh and that's a good blocking challenge by Mykon and that's the end of the half what a end to the half that was there and it's 1-0 to Kiev. That's Shaparenko, the goal scorer for the only goal of the game so far.
What have Danette Scott left? That's a good ball. It's Tete, oh well, taken off him by Zavata. It's uh, awkward, Mycom takes it. And he's took it on even further. That's a really good save. And, but luckily the defender's there. Mikolenko. The penner is Bulas Bulaski, is it? Or something like that. Uh, something like that. <laughs> Just <laughs> the commentator saying that sort of thing. Oh, he's gone away. Well blocked. Now that's headed towards the net, but it's gone wide of the mark. Well, it's getting a little bit close to the end here. And he's robbed him here. Now what can he do with this? Taking it all the way around. Trying to create an angle for a shot here, Tete, good block. Big clearance, got his head on it but it's only given it to Donetsk again. Tete got clipped and he's going to get a free kick. And a bit of a chat but nothing doing for Sidorchuk. We're up to the final moments here in this one. He's fainted this time, he's letting somebody else have a crack. Marlos let it go for another man there. Dodo did well. <laughs> and Sidorchuk again, really solid challenge there from him. Oh there, giving away to Dodo. Marlos. He loses out. That's a cracking ball down the left. It's De Pena. Oh, is he overcooked it? No, they haven't overcooked it. He's swiveled and the shot flies in. And it's Ramirez again. Finishes the match off here, surely. And that ball down the left for De Pena really set it up. But what a finish there from Ramirez. Solid strike. Top corner. 3 0. No way back for Donetsk, even in the second leg, I would imagine. Uh, looks interesting. Oh, Ramirez on the art trick now, but he's fed it through here. Oh, and Dodo's in trouble here, and it's the second yellow for him. And he's off the pitch. And here's the challenge. Did he take the ball? I don't think so. No then, never done this before. He's going to have a crack here. He's gone for the top corner and he's put it in. It's Siganov. A Merton trophy as well, the dead ball specialist trophy. For that one to make it 4 0. How about that then? Well, that's put the match beyond Donetsk here, surely. Cracking finish. And in fact, it's Zigankov. I thought it was Ziganov, um, but I've got a feeling that, that could, he could be Russian actually. <laughs> Ziganov. Very closely similar to the name, isn't it? It is Sudorcho. He's been a tower of strength here for Kiev. Interesting ball in. Ooh. 
Uh, again, dependent. No, can't quite get hold of it there. That's a decent ball down the right. Tete. Oh. Oh, we got through there. That's a good tackle, but he might still carry on with it. He has done. Oh, and a chance to get one back. Look at Sidorchuk, he's following the ball out there. That's really well weighted there. What's the cross like? It's a pinpoint one here. Oh, what a cracking goal for number five. Oh, yes. Really, really good goal that. Now that could be Sikangov. Let's see. That's a great uh, run again from De Pena. And what a finish on that far side for Kiev. And it is Sikankov. To make it 5 0 here. And that is the end of the game. And it can't be Donetsk coming back from that, really. They don't know what's happened in this one. We've seen it all happen. Sankov with two goals. Ramirez also with two goals that sees Donetsk off, I would imagine the second leg very much a formality 5-0 Kiev so there we are then guys, they're the first three first legs of the first three finals in our FIFA 22 World Club Trophy and uh, you'll see the second legs obviously in the next programme so until then I shall say goodbye for now and we'll see you then.